Y'all, we are back and I'm filming in the car today just because I have actually been delaying putting out this video, mainly because I have expressed my concerns and I'm trying to figure out where the line is where I don't stay up to date and I don't continue updating you with where we're at. But here's where we're at, all right? I don't know how I feel about the two updates I'm going to share. I think these are some excuses, okay? What I'm about to share with you and what I'm going to read are two posts that I um, have had people post in my communities or send me directly. And honestly, after reading them and really sitting with it for multiple weeks, you know, this is posted um, at the end of March, giving it plenty of time to give space, to see corrections, to see change and everything like that and have no preconceived thoughts, I have some thoughts. And I really don't like how I feel about these posts that I'm about to read to you. And I'm going to explain to you why as I read through these, but as an advocate for the cricket community, as someone who adores the machines, someone who adores the products, who love them and use them, I just don't love how these posts left me feeling. And these are two posts, two separate posts from the CEO of Cricket, um, who initially had a really great response to our video and really prioritizing, you know, a lot of the fixes. And honestly, the posts that I'm about to read you have rubbed me, I don't want to say the wrong way, but I'm going to read through them and probably pause and give commentary or feedback and thoughts to these. But what I really want to hear from is you. I really want to hear what your thoughts are on the situation, on the post. Have you seen any updates in Cricut Design Space? It has been multiple, multiple weeks since my first video. So I'd love to know if you've noticed any changes in design space down below. That's really the main reason why I'm posting this video. But I also want you to hear these posts, hear my commentary, and then give your opinion too. Because I want to know, do you think Cricut's just making another excuse? And I hate to be the person to say that, but I kind of think so. So I'm gonna read you this and I want you to do with it is what you will. Give me all your commentary, all your feedback. I'm gonna be in the comments all night responding to comments just because I wanna get this off my chest. I always feel better being more raw and more real and more open. And I just want to kind of continue holding, you know, my word true that I'm going to follow this situation through completion. So number one is a gratitude post cricket um, and Ashish posted in the cricket official Facebook group. Someone posted this in my community. So it says cricket CEO, a gratitude post. Our team is heavily focused on resolving some of the bugs, trying to reproduce issues, working with members, users, as long as they have minimum system requirements. We have some work ahead for us in the coming weeks. That kicked us off with like, okay, noticing minimum system requirements. Now, pause. None of these issues that I have experienced, my team has experienced, and majority of like pro cricket crafters have had any issues with not having like the minimum system requirements. Y'all, I am running cricket off of like three, four thousand dollar devices. I will promise you we have probably four times, <laughs> four times, five times, six times the minimum system requirements. So I don't love like coming out of the gate addressing that. And I just point out here because it will go, it'll connect more further on. So he says, in the meantime, I just want to say thank you to my team, all the admins, all the members who are helping other members and those of you who are even um, working with us patiently to help reproduce errors you may be facing. It feels like we are all part of the solution. Thank you. So it sounds like um, they are actually looking and finding system problems. What I find really interesting about this is that for the majority of issues that I pointed out in my last video, and if you need to get up to speed, this is like part three <laughs> in a three part video series. Um, all the issues that I have experienced, everyone else I know have experienced them too. Like for example, you know, for a long time, whether it's up to date today or not, you press make it and your mats automatically like 12 by 24 inches. And that's just one of like the 15 errors that I kind of digest in the last video. So watch that if you want to know like all of the errors that me, my team, and like all of our community have reported the most. So anyway, um, that's just really interesting 
you shouldn't have to go far to find these issues, which is the point I've been trying to make that all of the things that I think need to be improved are obvious, period. Like you shouldn't have to be calling anybody asking because you should already know. You should already see the print and cut issues. You should already see these things and you should already know them. You know? Okay. So this is where I just feel like there's excuses. Like we've got system requirement excuses. Then we go on and he says, just as a reminder, we have millions of people cutting successfully every month. Significant majority of our members are cutting successfully. True. Millions of projects were cut in just March alone. Very, very few members have issues and we're working actively to resolve some of these issues our users are facing. There are so many uh, pre pre permituous uh, combinations of OSs, device type, firmware, firmware settings, combination of OSs, device type, browsers, etc. We are determined to listen closely and resolve some of these issues our members are facing. Y'all. The majority of the issues that we have reported and that we're talking about aren't just one little bugs here and there. There's just general, you know, things with the software that need to be resolved. So it just seems interesting that we're throwing out like minimum system requirements. Like it's not been a problem. Like most people here that have reported issues and the thousands of comments I've got on my videos, I would say the majority of these people have been longtime Cricut users and they know what's required to cut, right? Like it's not a surprise, it's nothing new or anything like that. Um, I know you all and I know what technology I have. I think we all have the minimum system requirements, number one. Number two, the issues that we've talked about in the past videos and the conversation we're having here, it's not about like small little bugs. Like it's really, you know, these posts make me feel and think that they're like, oh, we're trying to like get down to the, the tiny little things that we have to recreate. Y'all, these issues we've been talking about are nothing you need to recreate. Like they're there, they're just there across the board. I could call up anybody, you know, to look on Design Space and they're there. I'm not going to go into our major list, like I said in this video, but I'll link the last video I did on this series and it goes into detail. Like I pretty much like had an open letter to the cricket team of like issues that I would like to see fixed um, that were reported here in our community. So anyway, you can check that video out to have all 15 or so. Um, I kind of go into at the end, the second part of the video. So he goes on to say, this is the highest priority for me and my team. Again, thank you for the community members who are helping other members and doing this in a positive, encouraging way. Thank you, Ashish, cricket CEO. So that was the first post. It's just kind of interesting to me. Um, I just don't love it. It seems like we're going two different ways. We're like, okay, a lot of people having issues don't have the minimum requirements, number one. And number two, the issues we are fixing are really small. So I just doesn't land well with me. All right. So then on Ashisha's like public page, he posted Cricket CEO update on Cricket Design Space. We're listening closely, holding ourselves accountable, and responding with action. Love it. Dear Cricut members, I'm the CEO, and we've been reviewing feedback on Design Space that some users are experiencing issues, especially following the past few software updates. Totally agree. Like, this is like a sheesh check. Yes, people are not fine tuning Design Space before releases. Perfect. We take this feedback very seriously and to heart every week we have millions of members who create or cut projects and the vast majority of these members are cut seamlessly. We can see it in the data of our servers. Millions of projects are cut successfully worldwide every month, but that is not good enough. I am serious. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's continue before I dive into thoughts. We have at least four operating systems, iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. Many different versions of those OSs and many different machines uh, Design Space has to work with. This is not an excuse, but the gravity of testing we need to do and ensure we can replicate issues. Pause. We're going into replicating issues. A lot of these issues are so big that they should be right in front of your face. Like they should be right there. So again, if anyone on Cricket's team's watching, please watch my second video. They're all laid out there in like a beautiful, like bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. Um, anyway, back to the post. 
We are slowing down our updates and ensuring that each release has enough time to be tested rigorously. We plan to roll out things in beta slowly and see if users have problems before we roll them out site-wide. I love that. I think that'll be perfect. That's what's even delayed this video. Like I just want to like see and give Cricut more time before I give commentary and thoughts and feedback and things like that, just because I don't want to constantly be talking about it because I want to be enjoying it and loving it, but I hadn't seen like a lot of movement. So he goes on to say, we need to make sure that every user, all of you have the minimum system requirements, have a great experience and don't experience any glitches in the software and in your making. I can promise you that it is the highest priority for me and my team who are motivated to ensure that this experience is reliable for all members. My team and I are using all channels, all kinds of channels to get feedback and understanding user feedback. Many of them are here and listening to your feedback. Thank you for the feedback and being a Cricut member. We're determined to correct course and ensure that we delight you with our design space platform and design space experience. Here's where it goes on to say, I also plan to do a YouTube live myself on the Cricut channel two times a quarter, um, where I will talk about all the software updates, the bugs, issues we've been able to fix. Transparency is the best way to hold ourselves accountable to all of you and show you that creating a frictionless experience is a top priority for us. I love that. I'm actually really excited to see what Cricut does and all of that. But here's what I have got to say. Out of all of these posts, I haven't heard them take responsibility for any of the actual issues and I haven't seen a ton of them resolved yet. So I want to know, what do you all think about this? Like, is this just another excuse? Are they actually taking action? I really, really would love to know in the comments down below, have you seen improvements to design space? What it sounds like, and again, this is what it sounds like to me, reading between the lines is that yes, the team was rushing to get updates out, rushing, rushing, rushing. Like you said, there's four different platforms to like really fine tune and kind of comb through. Um, to talk about like all the millions of crafters, I agree. Yes, you have millions of crafters using the software. Yes, it should be perfected and fine tuned. Like just because you have so many people using the software, it's such an amazing thing that you need to invest all the time, all the energy, all the resources and making sure that it's great for these people, right? Yes, people have successful cuts, but they're having successful cuts through like minutia, right? Like having a successful cut used to be the standard and like, of course you're gonna have a successful cut. Now it's like, oh, you can have a successful cut, but you have to know every workaround. You have to know all the, you know, lingo and things like that. And if you're someone here considering to buy Cricut, I always address that I still think Cricut's the best software and the best machine on the market. And that's why, you know, I think Cricut being a leader and being the top dog in the industry is actually hurting them right now. Like there's all these other machines entering the market, trying to be like, oh, like, Cricket's this, Cricket's that switch. I don't think that's the solution. Like no, no one can touch Cricket. And I think because they probably feel that and think that, that they can kind of like skimp out, whether it's to make more profit, whether it's to do less work. I don't know. I'm not them. I have no idea. But what I will tell you is that I love the machine. I think it's like the apple of crafting. I think it's phenomenal. I love it. I love the technology. Um, I still stand behind it, but again, as a voice for the community, a voice for the industry, I just feel like there's still some things we're lacking. And I feel like these posts that I've saw so far seem to be making more excuses than saying, Hey, here are the things that we saw. Here are the things we, you know, have corrected. What do you think? I haven't seen that. And I want to see Cricut as a whole just saying, Hey, Here's all these amazing things that have been updated. Here's all these awesome things. Like how crazy is it that when you do a print and cut, you click make it like send a printer and nothing ever pops up. You have to like scroll down and find it behind and like all of that um, when you do like system dialogue, which is how you should print and cut, right? So that's where I'm at. That's my thoughts. I thought it would be like different to just film like raw and real here in my car today. I want to do more vlog styles. I think there's so much more context of the industry 
Again, my friends, I just want to remind you that I absolutely adore Cricut. I seriously love the machine and I don't make these videos to bash them in any means necessary, but I do make these videos to hold them accountable and to have a conversation with you guys because no one else in the industry is doing it. No one else is willing to address the elephant in the room and I, at the end of the day, want you to know that I have this YouTube channel to support you. I make these videos to support you. I run a membership to support you. That is my goal. That is my mission, whether it's crafting, whether it's the software, whether it's the, you know, the mindset that it takes to be a successful crafter. That is why I do what I do to support you, my follower, my friend on the internet. So again, my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you for making it to the end of the video and for being a part here. What you can do next is to write me a reply. Like I said, I'm going to be in the comments. Let's start a conversation and I can't wait to hear from you. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. My name's Tanner. I founded Makers Gonna Learn, a membership to teach you how to be the best and the most successful crafter possible. Check it out. Link down below. Makers Gonna Learn. 13,000 plus cut files, so many fonts, so many courses, all included when you join. So go ahead, grab it down below. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.